Hi Stampers! <laughs> it's Kelly Enns from Stamping with Kelly and uh, yeah, you know, I should just start these events at 7.10 <laughs> because uh, then if I start early then I surprise you all. Other than that, you know, you can basically count on me being about five minutes late because it seems like either my um, software has changed or Facebook has changed its policies and it the two don't want to work together when I'm doing this. And guys, I started this um, 26 minutes ago, um, about 30 minutes ago. Yeah, um, because I just wanted to be so prepared. <laughs> Anyways, welcome. This is 2022. Can you believe it? I cannot believe it. I don't know where 2021 went, but it's January. It's January 18th right now. And um, I, I can't believe it. We're into a new round of club. So thank you so much for joining me. You might be watching live on Facebook or you might be watching the replay on YouTube or on Facebook. And no matter how you're watching, please check in. I love to know who's watching and who's um, even crafting along. You can let me know because these videos are for everyone. You might have the supplies from me and actually be creating the things that I'm creating along with me. And um, you might just be getting inspiration. So no matter how you're watching, please, would you check in? I'm going to just see here, get my comments loading. So somebody's got to start talking to me and let me know. Are you guys on? I think so. Uh, I think so. Yes, I think so. Yay, Carla, hooray, I'm so glad. Um, I am so excited to be stamping with you tonight. And I just um, have so many things to cover that you're going to have to bear with me because I'm kind of bouncing all over the place here in my brain. So I hope that doesn't um, come across in my presentation because I've, I've got kits to show you and um, product shares and all different kinds of things and then we're also crafting five projects so if you're joining me it's probably because you've received one of these and that's a little project packet from me so how do you get those you join my club you can do it as a drop-in but right now it's January unless you're watching the replay and um, it's the best time to join because you can join for six months and get a reduced rate or you can qualify for hostess benefits for all of your orders over the next six months. This is a fantastic deal. So um, I prepped the projects for at least three club cards and then I'm doing four this month, but um, that's just a little bonus to you because I love you. Um, <laughs> then I have an extra card if you decide to pick up from my house in South Edmonton, just um, so that I can spend my money on you and providing another project for you instead of spending money on postage. But if you live anywhere in Canada, I can post these to you for free, no problem. You can craft along with me. And I'm so excited to say we have people joining us from New Brunswick, from Ontario, from Saskatchewan, BC, and of course, many of you here in Alberta where I am. I'm in Edmonton and it is crazy here. We've had a winter storm roll in, but before that we had like spring weather and so it's sheer ice with a dusting of snow on top. It's very exciting out there. <laughs> um, if you guys braved my driveway the other day, I'm sorry, we've been trying, but it's like every single day, um, it, it's just really hard to keep on top of. So. Um, thank you very much, and hopefully you didn't skate down my driveway. <laughs> uh, so if you are joining me for club, I would love to have you a part of it for the rest of the six-month period. So you might have the packet this month. You might not have committed quite yet, and that's okay. You have until the end of January to commit. So if you decide to go with the purchasing option, then you would actually receive your projects for free every month with a minimum $35 order. So if you plan it out, you can spread that order over those six months and you're going to receive a $20 shopping spree on top of that. The $20 shopping spree is the absolute minimum, minimum that you will receive. The average club member received $67, I think it was last round for free. 
and I had people earning up to a couple hundred dollars for free. So it's a fantastic way of doing it. And then of course their club cards are free too. So they've got a free class crafting class every month with me online no matter where they are in Canada so um, if you plan it out you can really make the most of this and I am happy to strategize with you this is my favorite thing to do because I like to do that for myself too so that's one way of joining another way of joining if you are hesitant or you know you're not sure if you're needing more supplies then you can purchase the um, class kit fee and that is a discount if you register for the six months at a time so if you decide to do that then it will be fifteen dollars per month for your club projects instead of twenty dollars which is the price if you were to do like a month by month drop in so say you joined january and then you join march or something like that or maybe even you join every month and you end up paying twenty dollars a month i mean if you have to if that's what you have to do then do it but um, the best deal is to prepay for the six months and then it ends up being fifteen dollars per month that includes mailing anywhere in canada for the three cards i have an option if you want the fourth card the bonus card mailed then that's just a little bit of an extra fee on top i'm happy to share that with you but it's um, definitely it's cheaper than buying a card in the store so um, it's a really good deal to get that uh, as well and what else do i have to say um yeah and then um, oh, if you end up doing the drop-in option, then you have the ability to use a part of that class fee as a credit towards your, um, your order if you do decide to place an order that month as well. So um, if, say if you're paying the $15 prepayment for the six months, it works out to $90 total. $15 per month and then if you were to place an order for one of those months of at least $35 then $10 of your prepaid fee blah, uh, will be credited towards your order total once we calculate shipping and GST and everything okay so clear as mud if you guys have questions just reach out I'm happy to explain it to you I've been running club for 14 over 14 years now I've been a demonstrator for nearly 15 years and I just love my club. It's a way that uh, I get to connect with some of my best friends and uh, so many of my crafting friends as well that I've collected throughout the years. I find that no matter who you are, if you're a crafter, I just know that I like you already. <laughs> So um, I really love that I have this on my calendar every month because I get my crafting fix and I also get my friendship fix. So I'm very grateful to you guys for that. I have one light that is flashing and I don't know what it's doing, but I don't like it. <laughs> so if you see me going wonky, it's because I've got one, one light. Yeah, I have enough lights that it's not going to go dark, thankfully. But um, yeah, so... Um, what, what, I, what I want to talk about now, I want to talk about a new idea that I have. So let me show you guys something here. Okay, and I should get back to the chat here too. You'll, you won't mind. Oh, wonderful. It's so good to see you, Shada and Bill Kiss. Oh, hooray. And Carla's still here. That's wonderful. So I wanted to show you guys. I might have to turn off that light. It is just going bonkers. Okay, I wanted to show you guys an idea for a new swap that I have, okay? So I currently do have a swap. It's only available if you are a club member and it's capped at 12 people. So what we do is we make 12 cards each month and it's of a certain theme. And these are the themes that we're going for here, January, February, March. I gotta turn this off, you guys. I can't, I can't handle it. It's distracting. There we go. Probably didn't even notice the difference there. <laughs> So um, this is this is a different swap that I'm doing here, but the January, February, March, April, May, June themes that we have for our um, 12 for 12 swap are there, and I'm going to send them to you as well. If you joined this swap, you know about it, and um, and we will be in communication with getting those cards out. Currently, there are 11 people in the swap, including me. So um, I was thinking that maybe I might include you guys in this one for once card swap too that I'm doing. 
This one for one card swap is a totally new and different thing. It's open to everybody, anybody. I would love to have each and every one of you participate in this. There is no special requirement. You don't have to make 12 cards. You need to make one card and in turn, you will get one card back to you. So if you want to play along, I would just love this so much. All you have to do is mail a card that you have made and send it to me sometime during the month. I'm planning on showcasing the cards in a video on the last week of the month sometime. So popping on here and showcasing all of your guys' beautiful work. So all you have to do is again, send a card over to me and what you will receive in return is one of the other people's cards sent to you. So how do we do that? Okay, so imagine this is an envelope and you've written your address there, return address, and then you've written my address here because you're sending your swap to me in the mail, okay? And then when I open it up, I receive, oh, you made such a cute card. If you guys want to see me making this card, you can check out my YouTube channel. I've created this one on a video and I posted it there. So I will... Put this in a pile with all the other swaps from that month and how will I know what month it is? I'm going to look on the back and I'm going to see your name, the name of the person who made it and what month that you created it for. You can put on there one for one. I'm sure some of you guys will want to do two for two and that's totally okay as well. So the other thing that I need you to include is a return envelope with a postage stamp on it and your address. I'm going to put my address there just in case it doesn't get to you then it will come back to me and we'll figure that out. But what I'm going to do is take this envelope and take another person's card, put it into there and send it to you so you're going to get a fun card back to you. And then I'm going to take the card that you made and put it in another person's envelope that they gave me and it's a one for one swap. Does that make sense? Easy peasy, right? So it doesn't matter. You don't have to join for six months at a time. You don't even have to commit to me at all. You don't have to let me know that you're doing this. Just send me a card in the mail with an envelope inside with your address on it and a postage stamp. And then I will swap a card out to you for, made by somebody else. And in the meantime, I'll also showcase it too on one of my videos here. So let's take a look um at what we need to do so mail it to the one for one swap you can put my name on there too but i will know it's for me <laughs> it's just me and my husband checking the mail so <laughs> you can mail it to my address here make sure to label the back with your name and the month put it on a sticky note you can put instructions if you want to that's you know quite over the top if you want to um, but make sure you include a self-addressed and stamped envelope inside so that I can mail another card over to you. So I'm going to write this all out. I'm going to announce this also in a video of its own and make sure that you know the different themes. So we've got sympathy with flowers and plants. It's not too late to send me a card for that. And again, you don't have to make 12 of them. Just make one card and send it to me. And then I will swap it out for somebody else's card. And then February is going to be love themed. Anniversary or wedding. Um, March is going to be whatever makes you think of vacation. Because I have a feeling in March, all of us Canadians here are going to be needing a vacation, right? <laughs> April is new baby. May is monochromatic with ribbon. And June is masculine birthday. So if you want, you can send me multiple cards in the same envelope. You'll just have to pay postage. But make sure you send me one uh, envelope for every card that you send me okay so that I can match them up and get them sent back to you okay I hope you guys like this idea who's excited about this I know that I sure am oh my mom's watching oh hi Kimberly it's good to see you too oh that's so sweet while I have you pointed down I'm going to show you this this is kind of a sneak preview this is um, a new set that's coming out. It's like a new suite almost. Available February 1st. And it's until um, the beginning of May. So this here is incredible. We had before, uh, we still have currently actually, a um, 
bronze and an ivory marker and those are supposed to replicate skin tones now we are broadening that line very very much so with five new pairs of stampin blends they can create all different colors of skin tones you'll see better images of these next month but i wanted to give you a heads up that these are coming we also have a new stamp set a new die pack and then this all together six by six inch designer series paper that's in black and white and you can color it with your new blends these are the natural skin tones they've got light medium light medium medium deep and deep so i'm really excited about this coming let's see what else we have here guys i've got so much to show you okay i'm going to pivot i think i like that heart so much i left it from the other day <laughs> so cute right um let's talk about our january ordering specials oh isn't that funny i did not fix my little mini cameras there okay that's all right I'm, you'll have to tell me what you think about the video quality and the sound quality. I'm working my way through a tech upgrade. Ugh, such a pain. <laughs> but here we go, right? Um, so the January special that I have is free with a $120 order. And this coincides with two celebration items or a deluxe $120 uh, celebration item. So this is a really, really good deal. Um, not only will you get... Of course, the two celebration items, we're going to go through that in a minute, the two free products from Stampin' Up, you will get two free products from me. And I misplaced the second one. Ah, there it is. Okay, let, I'll pivot you down here. Let's see. So here we go. We've got um, the resin hearts embellishments. This is a retired product that we had a few years ago. It comes with 150 of them. You've got in the white color and in the red color, and they're so cute for all different occasions. But of course, I was thinking love is in the air with Valentine's Day coming up next month. Now this next one, you can see how reflective it is. Hi! And um, it comes in two different colors. It's 12 inch, or sorry, three different colors, two pink colors and a silver color. But they're so beautiful. They've got like a pinky tone and a peachy tone. I can't remember exactly what colors they say they are, but I, I suspect they might be retired anyways. This pack is retired from Stampin' Up! But again, available for free along with the resin hearts with a $120 purchase this month. Can you see this? It's like a, a beautiful uh, champagne kind of color. There we go. So we'll talk about those a little bit later too because we are going to be using them on a couple projects tonight. So why don't we talk about celebration too? Do, do, do. There we go. Stack these up. Um, celebration is our biggest special of the year. We now have it twice a year. We have it January 4th to February 28th, and then we have another one in the summertime too. So for, for celebration, you get to choose out free items with every $60 order increment. So let's talk about this first one, Island Vibes. This is a great stamp set. It's our red rubber and it looks like it's distinctive, which is um, a proprietary technique of making stamps from Stampin' Up. And they, I just love the images in this one. It definitely does give you the feel of Island Vibes. With this, um, it's a stamp that has, you know, two different colored items on there. So you can start with like a brownie, yellow color that you stamp into and then sponge on the green on the top here or you could even use you know some blender blending pens with um uh what am i thinking of the watercolor pencils would look gorgeous to color these in too so if you wanted to stamp those with like a light gray or even a black that would look so good i definitely am feeling the vacation vibes the next item i'm going to show you here is our daffodil afternoon and this one is a 12 inch by 12 inch paper pack, which is just gorgeous. I really like the, the way that Stampin' Up! is doing sheets like this so that you can create six card fronts with this and um, just put a little sentiment on there and it just looks so perfect. 
I like the style of this one. It's kind of sketchy looking and the colors are so bright and bold with the black accents. The back side, of course, is these beautiful patterns and I've got one piece. That's all I have left of it. <laughs> I used that for um, a project this month and I needed a lot of it. So that's all I have left. The next page here, we've got Catching Butterflies. This is a really cute set that, um, you know, makes me just joyful. Doesn't it make you happy? So this one is, uh, it's um, a great line art set for coloring, for doing all kinds of art. And then you've got these great sayings here too, which match the different fonts, mix and match the different fonts. Another one that's great for coloring is this driving by and it's so evocative, isn't it? I've got a friend who has the Beetle. I've got a my mom who has a convertible and nobody I know has the VW van, but I think that we are all feeling this, you know? Um, I just love this. You can ink up just the balloons on their own or you can ink up just the car on its own. Same thing with the packages and the Beetle. You can do lots of fun things with design series paper and some paper piercing, paper piecing on top of it. Um, so take a look at some ideas on Pinterest. There's a lot of great inspiring ideas with driving by. Again, free with a $60 order increment. And I say order increment because when you hit 120, you get to choose two. When you hit um, there it is, 180, you get to choose three. So you, you can just cash in on these. This paper pack here is called our Sunshine and Rainbows, and it is so happy and colorful. I love getting papers. For my celebration rewards especially as a demonstrator because i get quite a few rewards so i stuck up on one of everything at least and then um, i get to play with these papers as well just keep playing with them afterwards but isn't that happy so lots of rainbow patterns on the front and then on the back you've got a little bit more solid or stripy patterns kind of smaller prints on there but this pack is so awesome as well because it coordinates with a um, suite of products, or at least a bundle, I guess I should say, a bundle of products. I'm trying to get this fanned out here so I can keep it like that. There we go. Okay, oops, don't flip ahead too much. Then we've got our simple, Simply Marvelous paper, and this is also in a pack of 48 sheets, just like the last one. They come six, six inches by six inches, but um, they are in the six different colors, so you get more of each of the patterns. So you've got one side that's like super psychedelic. This is actually um, similar to a technique that we can do, and it's called a shaving cream technique. So what you do, we made it in the past at club when we were in person, and holy, it's a mess. You, what you do is get a container, and you spray shaving cream in it. And then you put some drops of re-inker into it, take a knife and kind of swirl the pattern a little bit. Then you take your sheet of paper and you lay it down into it, lift it up and then wipe off the shaving cream. At this point, everything smells like shaving cream. You've got it in your hair and on your clothes. It's all over your hands. It might even be all over your house but um, it gives a pattern that looks similar to this. So what I like is getting this paper for free and no mess and no smell. So woohoo! <laughs> um, it's a really great pack. I also really like this pattern here because of its subtlety. So this is the marble pattern and you can see it comes in all those different colors but you can stamp on here, you know, you could stamp a floral pattern on here and it would just add so much interest to it as well. Just this by itself, it's also gorgeous. We're gonna use this on a few projects tonight too. So that's probably my favorite in terms of the papers because of its versatility. Um, I love, love, love though for stamp sets, this is my favorite one. Awesome Otters. Who loves this one the best, I wonder? I wonder, I wonder. Are you guys commenting along? Let me know which ones do you like best. I really like the Awesome Otters. This one is so cute. You can put the party hat on them. And I like him just swimming there. And just to coincide, isn't this a great pairing too? This is like some nice water feel. And then you can put that little otter kind of stamped and floating on top of there. Love it. Okay, now we get to 
a different section here. This is free with a $120 purchase. So these are what we would call like our level two of celebration. So these are um, a little bit more um, extensive products that you'll receive for free. So the first one that you can get is this friendly hello, and this is a two part. It comes with a stamp set and also the pack of designer series paper. So this you can see beautiful floral patterns on the one side and then again more graphic patterns on the back side here too. Okay and um, there's another item which is my favorite of the $120 items and that is oops, there you go, the special moments stamp set. This is the stamp set of all stamp sets. Look at how big it is. You get two sheets with all these different sayings in here. You get things like, thanks for brightening up my day. Of course, the um, regular ones like happy birthday, big congratulations, thinking of you, um, but also friendship and hang in there, sympathy, just a card to say you're amazing. I think everyone you know, wants to make a card that has that saying on it, right? And let's see here, what else? Um, some smaller ones too. So, hey boo, <laughs> that's so cute. And I think you're wonderful. Oh, I just love these. So this is a fantastic stamp set and one that I don't think that you will regret at all by redeeming for a $120 purchase. So again, this is on until the end of February. So you have this month and next month if you're watching this live or if you're watching this in January. There's also another stamp set, and I forgot again to bring it down here. It's upstairs, and I haven't brought it down into my stamping area yet. But it's called the Calming Camilla. Camellia? Camellia. And um, this is a distinctive stamp set, so it means it's very detailed, and it looks photorealistic when you're using it. It's got great sayings, and it's got these beautiful floral and greenery images that um, you could do a lot of different techniques with. So that's for free if you have a host, if you host a party of $375 more in sales, or if um, you place an order of $375 or more. Now my club members definitely will be placing, or many of you will be placing that over the six month period. So what I did last time is offer people the option of having this stamp set, as their freebie or having an extra shopping spree. So stay tuned, club members, you're going to be getting a little bit more information about that. And then we can make a plan to make sure that I have enough of these for you, okay? So the last part of celebration and the best value of celebration is to join as a demonstrator. So I always like to put this bug in your brain because it's such a fantastic deal and it's very achievable um, to maintain your demonstratorship as well. And you can do whatever you want with it. You don't have to do online classes. You can do stamping for yourself. You can purchase supplies and make cards for flower shops or things like that. So think about it in a different way. It doesn't necessarily have to be exactly what I'm doing. I have a fantastic team of demonstrators called the Kells Angel Stampers, and we're also a part of a larger demonstrator group called the Cloud Nine Stampers. And together we make up hundreds of demonstrators. So if you wanna join our team, you get access to exclusive events and training sessions, you get pre-orders as a demonstrator, but the best deal is the starter kit special. And during celebration, we have an even better deal. So it's always basically $135 and you get to choose out $165 of product. You only pay the $135 here in Alberta. There might be other places in Canada where there's a sales tax or something built into it, but in Alberta, there's no GST and there's no shipping. So you're actually getting almost $200 value and just paying $135. You can choose out whatever you want and the sweet deal right now during celebration is that Stampin' Up! will let you choose any two stamp sets for free. Now this can be out of the annual catalog, out of the mini catalog. So look at the most expensive stamp sets and dream about getting those for free. And then talk to me about signing up to be a demonstrator because it's such a good deal. So 
with this, you can't choose out celebration stamp sets for free, but you can earn those for free. So um, this is, um, it says, there's like a little asterisk there, stamp sets for free. Those, that's what that means, is that they're not going to be celebration items. They're going to be products that are available for purchase. Okay, so if you are thinking about it, let me know. We can make a plan. I'd be happy to answer your questions. Let's take a look now here at some of our other kits that we've got going on. So we've got a brand new kit that just came out and it's a really fun birthday kit. I have not made it yet, you guys. I was prepping 250 projects and then my daughter needed stitches in the midst of it. So she just got her stitches removed today. She's all good. She's healing really, really well. And um, <laughs> it was the silliest thing. It happened right in front of me and I still don't know what she did. <laughs> so let's just um, look here and we'll take a peek inside. So this is called the Light the Candles card kit. It comes with everything that you need. So you don't have to be an experienced stamper at all. And this is available for purchase. And so it can count towards um, getting you your club cards for free as well. It makes eight projects. And it includes, let's see here, it includes all the supplies you need, including the adorable stamp set and the Coastal Cabana ink spot. You can see the envelopes here are printed. They've got laser cut um, layers here that go over top of these super sparkly pieces. Can you guys see the glitter? And the best part is this glitter is in there. Like you can scratch it and it doesn't come off. We have kids books that are like that. It's really cute. So you just layer it on like that, put it together and create this cute little project like this. Then we've got another design too with laser cut pieces like that that go over top of these pieces here and again sparkles but not um not flying all over your house sparkles that's pretty nice and then you also get the clear block so all you need to put this together truly is a pair of scissors then um oh you might not even need scissors no i don't think you'll need scissors on this often they include twine on these kits and that's what you'd need scissors for but you could just order this and pop this in your bag you could head on a plane with it you could um i like to stamp in my husband's truck as we're driving places we normally don't go anywhere really exciting in the winter in terms of driving but we do a lot of camping in the summer and so this is my little activity on our car rides we've got two sets uh, two different kinds of envelopes I call it stamp and camp and you guys have probably heard me say that before but it's my favorite activity <laughs> what did we say the other day my husband was talking about booking some sites for the summer and I said I don't know a, a campground is kind of just a campground for me like I can I can go to Michelin I could go to um, what, what was another one that we were deciding between down over by Wobbeman anyways and i just said it's kind of a, a campground is a campground he's like a campground is a stamp ground to you and i was like yeah <laughs> it's true um these are really fun these are like dimensional strips here so i really like that they've included something else if you didn't want to use them on a card like this or if you want to make these into shaker cards these are perfect for that or um, you could use regular dimensionals if you have them for these cards and you can save these ones and make shaker cards with them with something else. So really great. This is $26 here in Canada and um, again it does count towards getting your club cards for free so you just top it up with something else, minimum $35 order and then ta-da you've got some fantastic cards. Now another kit that we have is called our paper pumpkin kits. They're all inclusive kits just like that, but they are a subscription service that comes every month. So the most recent one that I've received, there's one that's on the way right now, but this is the most recent one that I've received and it's the um, So Much Pun. That's what it's called, So Much Pun Kit. So I made these with my five-year-old son. Oh my gosh, we had a blast. I should grab his here too. Here, I'll grab 
his card here. <laughs> you can see he signed his name on the back, handmade by, but look at how cute his turned out as well. I love it. I made mine exactly as per the instructions, but you can see he took a little bit of artistic license. Then you get um, Let's Grow Mole Together, I Loaf You, You Tell the Best Yolks. And this um, has a fantastic stamp set with lots of funny sayings. You get the shapes of all the different fruits and then you get the little faces that you can put on there. My son just loved this mustache and that's putting the little glasses on there. Aren't they cute? The toast. Oh, I am so in love with this. If you want um, a kit of this, I've got one full kit remaining and I've got a bunch of refill kits remaining as well. You can purchase the full kit for $30. That includes shipping and handling and GST to my house. If you want it shipped anywhere else in Canada, that would be extra. But the full kit is $30 and the refill kit is $15. Look at this one. I'm sorry, that's the pits. Oh, I love it. You get these great envelopes too. And there's a, oh, my, my daughter dropped the banana on there, but that's okay because look at the inside of this envelope. I'm totally going to cut it apart and use that as designer series paper. I'm so excited. And um, I'm a part of this group called uh, the Paper Pumpkin Fan Club. And if you guys want to be a member too, I'd be happy to um, hook you up with it. It's such a fantastic site, but uh, it gives you lots of inspiration. Let's talk here for a second about the kit that's on the way. It's called Kisses and Hugs, and uh, it's got these heart-shaped cards that we're going to create. And then there's also an add-on that's sold separately. That's these little boxes here. And um, those have like gold foil embossing on them that have this XOXO pattern. They're just under two inches by two inches. The one that, if you sign up for um, our next Paper Pumpkin right now, this is the little preview that they've given us. It's called Safari Celebration, and it looks like there's going to be some really fun imagery there too. I have a feeling that um, I'm going to have a great time crafting with this one with my son as well. Normally these kits are for me to have my me time, crafting time. They're great for me on the go. It makes it feel so excited to have the projects planned out for me once in a while, right? I'm so used to planning them out for you and I love that, but it's nice to have something planned for me too. So this is a, a great one here for kids, but keep in mind, even if it's not your style, you probably know someone in your life who would love to receive a card that looks like this, right? So I think it's wonderful to always cater to your style, but then to branch out a little bit from that because I think, um, you know, we give cards to so many people in our life and uh, it's nice to have something for everybody. Now the next thing that I'm going to show you could get overwhelming, so I'm going to do it in its own video, but I wanted to show you this new sampler that I'm putting together. It's a product sampler of everything um, that's shareable, really, from the January to June mini catalog. And so what you get, uh, total, does that make sense? 93 sheets of six by six inch paper. That, I'm gonna have to double check that because when I looked it up, I was thinking it was going to be 69 sheets. So I will have to look that up actually. That might be false advertising and that's totally on me. Um, but seven yards of ribbon and nine different embellishment types. I can send this anywhere in Canada for $63 or if you wanna pick up from my house, then it's going to be $55. That's funny that I counted up that it's going to be 69 sheets. So what you will get from me is oh, um, some designer series paper cut down six inches by six inches. There's one paper pack that is four inches by uh, six inches. So you will get the four inch by six inch size for those ones. And then everything else you'll get six inches by six inches. And I've put together these sheets that are also going to be included, which give you all of the matching colors for every single designer series paper, including the Simply Marvelous, the Daffodil Afternoon. Maybe that's where I'm getting the extra that goes up to 96 sheets. I think, I think, I think that's actually what it's going to do. You know, I just feel like it's blurry. I don't know what's going on here, you guys. 
Uh, I don't know. I wish I had a tech person here. Instead, it's just me. <laughs> okay, I'm going to turn you up and turn you down again. Let's see if that, there we go. Reset, reset. Sometimes you just need a reset, right? And then the other part that you're going to receive, oh, maybe I'll show you what that's going to look like here. So you're going to get a pack of paper that looks like this and it's all six inches by six inches then you're going to get also one yard of each of the different ribbon types except for the fan baker's twine that's just a bit too hard to share so then it ends up looking like this i send that to you and you get to sample them all aren't they beautiful i just love stroking them <laughs> you'll also get um, the Supple Shimmer Specialty Paper, the Vellum, the Mother of Pearl Paper, too, to try out. So these are all really fun, different papers, and it's nice to get your hands on them before you decide which ones you want to order as a full pack. In terms of embellishments, there's a couple embellishments that are not conducive to sharing, but you're going to get some of everything else. So you're going to get one of each of the doilies, which are in such fun colors here, aren't they great? But then the back sides are white, so you can color them whatever color that you want them to be if one of those doesn't match the project that you're working on. And then in terms of embellishments, you're going to get a little package that will look like this, but without the white cardstock backing. I just wanted to showcase it to you how many different embellishments you're going to get. These are the new River Rock stones. Then you get some stars, some of the neutral um, matte, they call them matte dots, I think. The brushed brass butterflies, and I have a really hard time saying that. Then we've got our fun hexagons. These are our sea glass. It comes in three different colors and a whole bunch of different shapes. And then these are, what are these ones called? Polished dots, I think. And then over here, we've got our beautiful iridescent rhinestone embellishments. We're using some of these tonight. So if you want to get your hands on this, um, I've got the first round pretty much, uh, well, it's here. It just needs to be cut up and sent out. And then I'd be happy to get you in on the second round here. So let me know as soon as you can, because I'd love to get that done up. It takes a little bit of time, obviously. You can imagine wrapping all of these different things and snipping up these things. So um, let me know as soon as you can so that I can get your product products on the way. Oh, I gotta show you guys this. This is that new four inches by six inch paper that's such a specialty. It's so abstract, it's so pretty. And you get a whole stack of it. And these are all the different patterns. Aren't they fun? And then the back sides are really cute too. So that's the one that you're gonna get four inches by six inches. Oh, I should mention sneak peek too. So you guys know about my special for this month, $120 ordering special. You get this foil, you get the resin heart embellishments. And if you wanted to make a plan for next month, I'm going to give you a little heads up because I'm going to give you the designer series paper to go along with it. So it has three different color patterns. What do you get? You get a whole bunch in here, 12 sheets of it. And it's got this beautiful foil, and it matches with the foil paper that I'm giving out this month. There's something else that's going to go along with this, and I haven't quite decided what it is. But I wanted to give you guys the heads up so you guys could make a plan for this month and the next month to make sure you guys get those fabulous freebies. It's at least a $20 value, so it's a really good deal. Okay, let's get started with stamping. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Get on with it, right? <laughs> is that actually what you're thinking you guys have gone quiet I hope we're still live we're good okay let's grab our projects the first one that we're going to create here is the bonus card if you picked up from my house so this is a card variation kind of the same that I showed for my looking up kit class this class is a little bit different than um, other classes that I've done because this one was just giving you ideas and the card bases and giving you some inspiration to play with. So if you haven't looked it up already, it's on my YouTube channel. You'll want to take a peek at it. This kit is called Looking Up. It makes three of each of the five different card designs 
and it includes these great printed envelopes too, which have these fabulous insides that are really graphic. Now this kit is really, really versatile, and I have a refill kit that I can mail anywhere in Canada. The refill kit makes the 15 cards, and it's just $18, including all of those supplies. Okay, so if you want one of those, just let me know. And I gave a gift to my club members from last round, and downline members too, actually, a gift of this card class with one of each of the different patterns, like one of the different cards from the kit. And I showcased how to make some really fun and different cards. Now, the reason why I'm talking about this so much, if you don't know why, <laughs> sorry, um, this sticker here that's in the copper color actually comes from this kit. So every kit, every refill kit comes with an extra sheet of all these stickers. So it's really great um, for making these extra projects too. Oh, where is this one? Oh, I wanted to show you this too. This card here. This is the thing, hey? It's like the first video of the year. I want to show you guys everything. This is another card design that I switched up. And taking that same card layout, normally you would put this up on dimensionals and you could put it on the card. And it would look like this. So my kit class is showcasing that you can do totally different things with these and break them up and make them into actually two different cards. Now this one here is using this gorgeous new paper that we have and um, I think it's called something about horizons. But isn't it pretty? Abstract, beautiful swooshes of color. Oh, it's so gorgeous. You could do these in so many different ways. And I just like, you know, that airplane along with the saying. And then the back side of these are all really gorgeous. I have a feeling that this one's going to sell out, you guys. So please, will you get it sooner than later if you have it on your list? I just really, really want you to get it if you want to play with it. So again, I didn't do anything except for put a sheet of vellum over top with this um, laser cut piece that comes in this kit and then stamp on there with some Versamark and white and emboss it. So this is an idea, you know, that we've got going on with the kit. Another card looks like, I should just keep this over here actually. Okay, so then the card that looks like this one here, I turned into some totally different cards. So you'll want to watch this class so that um, you can get some inspiration and ideas. This is one of our new slimline cards um, that we make with these dies. And we also have new slimline envelopes. So they come like this in three different colors in one pack. White and smoky slate and just jade, I think. And they're so great. They're totally mailable because they're just the size of a letter envelope. So you don't have to worry about extra postage there. And then, oops, and then we had a card here that has these balloons on it, and I turned that into a card that looks like that, and like this, with a cute little pop-up inside. So I teach you how to do that in this class. Again, the class is available to everyone. The gift that I gave was one of the card supplies of each of the five designs. And that's what I gave to my club members and my downline. This is a cute one, including some of the little raindrops that come from here. And this is including some of the paper from the envelope. And again, some paper from the envelope. And I've used some celebration items there too. So just quickly, that's a fun class that awaits you for your design inspiration whenever you feel like it. Okay, get my supplies back in here. Let's talk about the card that we're going to make here. So it might look like this, it might look like this. Um, it might be in any of the different colors of this marvelous paper. So I'm going to take this up a notch here with a saying stamp set that I really, really love. Now this one is different than the special moments that I was showing you. Special moments is for free with a minimum $120 order for celebration. This Happy and Heartfelt is for sale. So 
So you could purchase this, which would earn you, well, get you closer to earning the special moments for free. So these are both great saying sets. But this happy and heartfelt really speaks to me because it's got some really fun sayings and the font is just so beautiful. I really like the one that says, heck yeah, and I have you. Yay for love. Being awesome is just your thing. So this has got some really great sayings in there. And I'm using one here. What should I do? I'll showcase actually a quick way. Hmm. We have to celebrate this all day your way. Happy Dad Day. I put that one together. Maybe yay for love. Yay for love. So I want to showcase a little bit of a different way of putting these together. Our stamps come separate. Uh -uh. You know figure this out first. It's so hard to read this font backwards. Yay for love. I think I found it. Nice try getting away from me, but I gotcha. So our stamps come unassembled. You might peel off, peel off the backing here and then press and then peel off this backing here and then press this on. That's a great way of doing it too. This is a different way, which might work for you as well. So what I'm going to do is peel up the sticker, place that on my block. You do not have to center it at all. Then you can peel off this backing. Okay, have you guys seen this before or is this blowing your mind? Make sure to write in. Have you seen it before? Maybe this is how you always do it. Then you make sure you've got it the right way. And then you just stamp right onto your stamp. And then, ta-da, you've got it perfectly centered. Yay! Yay for love. What do you guys think? Is that going to be easier for you? Maybe. Okay, let's put this up here. Now, I'm going to be um, doing some embossing on here. I don't know if you guys can see that. I've got that beautiful foil paper, and then I thought it was just so perfect to add in that copper embossing. So using my Versamark, this is... A 15 year old Versamark that has some um, crystals in there, color crystals that we used to sell. And it's it's a oldie but a goldie. It's a clear ink. You can see it still stamps perfectly fine. I just keep re-inking it. The stamp pad just looks really gross. Well, Bilkis, you're welcome for the gift. Oh, it's my pleasure. I love treating you guys. I love knowing that you guys are crafting along with me. It feels so good to have this connection, doesn't it? Um, let's see here. I've got my little paintbrush. I just use my paintbrush to kind of take away some of the extra little pieces there. And if I'm clumsy like I just am, and I scoop away some off of the L, and then I have to start again here. <laughs> For goodness sakes. <laughs> and sometimes enough is enough, right? You just have some little sprinkles sometimes. There we go. Put this off to the side. Put this over here. Now I'm going to use my heat tool. So you wouldn't be able to use it just like this. You need to use the heat tool and heat set it in. The heat tool heats up to much hotter than any hair dryer. So they are not one and the same. The heat tool gets up to about 300 degrees. And you can see it will actually just start to melt. The little embossing powder pieces. Okay, so now that's ready to go. And now before I put this together, I'm going to do a little bit more to this paper. It's so gorgeous on its own, but let's take it up a notch because we can using this fantastic Wink of Stella paintbrush. So using Wink of Stella, you can definitely paint this on. You could, you know, paint it on the veins. You could do it that way. Or... Or and you could also flick it and this is going to give a really beautiful subtle depth to this paper even more depth because it already has so much doesn't it so let's see if my camera will pick up on that 
you guys see that there? It's just added so much prettiness to it. Wing Costella is a platinum shimmer paintbrush that is a wonderful addition to pretty much every project. So I'm going to wait for that to dry a little bit. Fold my cardstock in half here using my bone folder. Now during celebrations, such a good time to stock up on some of our essential products is what I call them. So things like the bone folder, you can see they last a long time. And um, take your pick tool you'll see me using. Get some refills for your Stamp and Seal and your Stamp and Seal Plus. You might have only one or the other of these and I want to suggest something to you. They actually will both fit into the same plastic case. So the full case and insert come together and then you can get the refills afterwards. So what I'd recommend doing when you're starting off is do the full case with an insert of whichever one that you choose and then get a refill of the other one. They come in these fantastic little resealable bags and so you only actually have to have one of these outside plastic cases. And then whichever one you're not using, you can just put back into its little resealable bag and it will stay nice and clean, no dust getting into your adhesive strip and ready for you to use whenever you want to switch. Now, I really like for people to try the two of these because they're so different. Sap and Seal Plus is really good for certain applications, but I find my go-to is just the regular Stamp and Seal. But with Stamp and Seal, you do have to do a little bit, and now I've messed with this here, there we go. If you ever find that it's not sticky on the end, just advance your roller until it's a sticky tip again. But you do have to do a little check mark at the end to break the line of adhesive. And I'll show you what happens if you don't. It stays attached here. So what I do is I just do a little check mark and then that breaks the line of adhesive and puts it off to the side. Now for stamp and seal plus you can see it doesn't do that. It's got these little break marks along there. I like the stamp and seal because it allows me to reposition. It's very sticky, but it's not so sticky that you can't reposition it if you put things on crooked, which definitely does happen sometimes. So just so that I'm not smudging my um, Wink of Stella if it's still wet, I'm gonna just rub it and press it on by rubbing the back side of it. Ta-da! So you might like one better the, than the other one. You might one like one for certain applications and one for the other applications. So I recommend trying them both out. Okay, this is a super sticky um, adhesive die cut. It's like a laser cut. And I find it's actually easier to peel away the extra backing and then lift the other thing off. This works better when you're working with dainty images. So peel that up. You might have some pieces left there. That's perfect. If you still have some here, I just use my finger and that pulls those little pieces out and then you can just flick them off into your recycle or your garbage. Now I put this on here. You might have a circle. You might have this beautiful tailored tag. And these of course coordinate with our layering circles, dies, or this punch here, the tailored tag punch. I'm going to use dimensionals now to put this together and finish this card off with some little rhinestones here that I have. So make sure you check your workstation because those are easy to go missing. I love that this nests just perfectly in there. To pick these up, I always find it easier to use my take your pick tool. Oops, there we go. And then I'm just going to put these two up there and one down here. And then ta-da! You've got your finished card. How easy is that and how perfect is that for every occasion, right? It's got this sh subtle shimmer on there. Don't say that five times fast. And, um, and it's got the copper elements. I just think that is so perfect, so beautiful. And again, if you want some of these laser cut stickers, you can purchase that looking up card kit for me. And um, I can ship it anywhere in Canada. The Iridescent Rhinestone Basic Jewels come in a pack of 200, and I love when you look at them, 
they take on the colors of the paper. So when I put them on blue paper, more blue comes out. When I put them on purple, I actually see more purple paper, but when or more purple within the um, actual rhinestone itself. But in the catalog, these show up as very pink, don't they? So it's interesting how when you can get something in your hands in real life, um, that it kind of changes the look of it, right? Now I'm going to take you through now, as you guys are finishing up your project, if you're standing along with me, and I'm going to take you through the catalogs to show you exactly where you can find these products. So let's start first with our mini catalog. And I should mention that the little cello bags that I give you are actually mailable envelopes. So you can put your cards in these as soon as you make them. That's going to protect them when you put them in your little box or something and you're rifling through them. You don't have to worry about these adhesives coming off or... Um, pieces getting damaged and then you can actually mail them too so there's a resealable slip uh, piece here that you can put over there you can also write onto the back of the card um, if you want your return address and your mailing address put your stamp on the outside if you don't want to have that on your card you can just put a piece of copy paper in cut that to size and then stick that inside or you can of course use mailing labels too but I love that it keeps your cards protected especially in the crazy weather that we've been having in Alberta we um, have snow and sleet and rain all in one day and so can you imagine this is going to be so protected and arrive just the way that I made it when it goes to the person who's receiving it love it okay let's take a look here in the catalog all right, on page nine, we can see the rhinestone, the iridescent rhinestone basic jewels are there for you to order. And also from this catalog, I use the Happy and Heartfelt stamp set. So this is the one that comes with all those different sayings. It's available for purchase for $33. Or of course, if you wanted to sign up to be a demonstrator, you could choose to receive that one for free as well. That would be a really good choice. From our annual catalog, we, well, I used the heat tool with the metallic embossing powders, which come in copper, gold, and silver. The copper is really a different color than the gold. I have used gold on one of them, and I thought, like, I actually thought looking at it in the tray that it was copper, but it turns out it was definitely gold. As soon as I heat set it, I see, I saw the difference, so um, it does make a big difference there. And then we also use the um, Winka Stella Shimmer Paintbrush. And what did I say on this page? Oh, the Versamark. Versamark, which is going to last you maybe 15 years or more, right? On page 149, I use the Taylor Tag to create this shape here for your saying. And then on this page, we I use the Layering Circles to, to create for those of you who have this circular image here. Now we go to our celebration catalog where we can earn the items for free. And I use the Simply Marvelous paper, which is a six inch by six inch paper pack. And so you can get 48 of these card fronts out of a pack like this. I love it. You just have to trim it down and then you get some extra sheets left over too that you can craft with. So again, that's free with a $60 uh, purchase increment. Let's take a look at your next project now. I'm going to just put this to the side. You guys know, don't be stressed while you're crafting with me, even if you're crafting live, because this replay is going to be available for you forever. And it's um, always going to be posted on Facebook right after the event finishes, my, right after my live event finishes. And um, it will be uploaded to YouTube usually the next day. The next project that we're going to work on is actually a cute little treat holder. So Valentine's Day is coming, love is in the air, and I wanted to make you a little, or have you make a little something that you could give out as a treat to someone who you love. So the project that I'm creating is a little bag box that looks like this. It's a really, really easy design, and it's called bag box because it's like a box at the bottom and a bag at the top. So um, to create this, we don't have to do any stamping or anything like that, but you will want to have a nice strong adhesive. I'd recommend this Stand and Seal Plus, or you can use our Terran Tape. This is what I'm going to be using. It's so easy to use. 
it's fantastic because you just put it down in your project and when you're done with it you just break off the end with your finger now if you want to take it up a notch here with some a different ribbon tying technique you might want to grab a punch that could look like that um, and you can tie the top of it like this or um, a little handheld punch like this. We used to sell little ones like this from Stampin' Up! But this is this would be the one that's our trio. This has corner edgers and then this one here is just a um, little oval punch. So I'll show you how to do that one. Okay. So we're starting off with a die that creates this fun little petal piece. It looks kind of like a flower. It's actually made to make an envelope which I will show you in the catalog when we go through that. But we're going to use this as the base of our little bag box. And now you need to decide which side you want to be visible. I think I'm going to go with this side because it's just so vibrant and fun. I'm going to put along the bottom, so I'm taking a look and seeing which way the pattern is going. Your pattern might be just like a upside down repeating pattern. It might not have an up and a, and a bottom. A, an up and a bottom, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, I'm putting a strip of tear and tape along the bottom and one of the edges. It doesn't matter which one, but whatever edge it is, is going to be the last thing that we press into place and it's going to be in the middle of the back. Okay, I'll show the back side of one of them and the front side of the other one. So again, if you were using your Stamp Seal Plus, you, could, you would just put that along the bottom here. You could even put a little bit on here if you really wanted to make sure that it was sticking. So maybe I'll showcase that. See, I when I transitioned to working with the Stamp and Seal Plus, oh yeah, I'm done working with Stamp and Seal Plus for right now because I'm going to have to do some surgery. Just explaining how I like to do the check marks so much that it's within me to just continue doing it. And sometimes that messes me up when I do the Stamp and Seal Plus. So that's my, another reason for you to get one of each of them and try it out and see if you like it. I'm so used to doing that little break. Come on, sweetheart. There we go. Then, um, you know, sometimes <laughs> I do that without even thinking about it. And it gets me into trouble with the Stamp and Seal Plus. So I'm just going to put this one out here so I grab that one the next time. <laughs> okay. Taking our little adhesive backer off, we're just going to leave it off the bottom for right now. And um, if you've got your stamp and seal plus on there, it's going to be sticky here, but I'm going to leave that on just to make sure that it's not complicating my life unnecessarily. Now I'm going to start wrapping this around. I'm going to take it to one corner and start pressing my way around and wrapping this bag box. So again, that was the tear and tape along the bottom. I might have said Stamp and Seal Plus, but I've got the tear and tape on there. And then I'm gonna wrap it around. So now I'm transitioning to where I'm gonna close my bag off here. So now I'm ready to take off this little strip. If you use the Stamp and Seal Plus, you know it, because it's already sticky on that side and hopefully is not causing you too much problem. Now I'm going to just eyeball it. I love this bag box. I was reminded of doing this by my friend Lindsay, um, who's also my upline. So a member of our stamp demonstrator group. And um, she reminded me of this cute little bag box that I've made years ago. And then would you believe it? I pulled one out last night that I made way back in the day. For those of you who know this paper, it, this was like probably, I would say, eight years ago. And would you know it? It was filled with jelly beans. <laughs> I had to flush those down the toilet because I just knew my son was going to find them if I dumped them into the garbage and he was going to eat them. <laughs> And nobody needs to eat those kind of eight-year-old jelly beans. But this is the same kind of design. I just use a four-inch piece of designer series paper here. It's about four inches by four and a half. No, it's definitely five and a half inches. And the, the reason or the, the way that I figure that out is, you know, measure around the length of the bottom and then give yourself a little bit extra to wrap the back. So it doesn't have to be like a, an exact science, but this one here 
is a little bit of a smaller base than the one that we had before. And then you can just make it as tall as you want. This, this size here fits kind of the perfect amount of treats because you don't want to go too crazy. It gets quite expensive if you're filling a whole bunch of these. But this will fit about four of these hearts. I put a fifth one in to try it because I like odd numbers. And then it um, just didn't sit quite nicely. Oh, and this isn't sitting quite nicely right now. They just have to lay down. There you go. Um, but it kind of made it bulge out a little bit at the bottom. So I think four hearts is kind of the perfect amount. Or, of course, a, a treat equivalent. You could put even probably like a um, chapstick or something in there too. That would be great. So now how do we finish off the top of this box? All we're going to do is, um, oh, I don't know if you guys saw this too. I have a bone folder and I just use that on the inside to press it down so that you get good contact. I maybe just talked over some that doing something else. Now I'm just going to flatten it off. I'm going to make sure that this is this is the seam in the middle of the back here, and then I just flatten it and just kind of press the top so it turns into a bag up at the top. But it still remains rounded at the bottom and it makes your life so much easier because you're not scoring lines in designer series paper. You're just wrapping it around and wherever it hits, it hits, right? To finish off the top of this card, I am missing some things. Okay, I got this. Oh, there it is. There we go. There's all my bits and pieces. So we're not doing any stamping. Here, um, these hearts are actually cut from our designer series paper. And I hope yours is cut nicely. Some of these hearts are a little bit asymmetrical in this designer series paper. But the nice thing is that the dies in this pack are perfectly um, symmetrical dies. So like one side is the exact same as the other side. But when you look at these, you can see like some of these loops are a little bit higher than the other one. They're made to look sketchy. So if that's something that bothers you, just take some scissors. I did that with this one last night and just trimmed around the outside. Or you know what, if it worked out well that it's quite centered there, then you can just leave it. So whatever you decide to do. This is so cool, this designer series paper. It is so perfectly matched up, like quality control with Stampin' Up! is just so amazing that the pattern repeats perfectly on each page. So what you can do is take your dies with your Big Boss or your Mini Boss and you can align them here. I use a little bit of washi tape to hold it down so it's centered. And what I've done is take two sheets of designer series paper, put little glue dots here on some of the hearts so that they're stuck together nicely and then when you're cutting out your three different heart shapes like this you will get six die cut pieces every time you crank through thumbs up right um, so this here is the amount of hearts that I needed to prep for 48 of these projects you guys how awesome is that love it this die pack comes with a whole bunch of really fun heart shapes as well as this little banner and some other tags. So we're going to go through that in a minute with a little bit more detail, but in the meantime, let's put this together here. I'm going to put this on with just some stamp and seal, actually. You could put dimensionals on it if you wanted. I'm going to make it go to the side just kind of like that, a little bit fun, playful. And then I've got one of the die cut shapes that I cut out of the pool party, I did a few different colors. I did pool party and I think blushing bride and one other color. But I'm going to put on that little textured heart with some stamp and seal. And you'll notice the texture might be lines or it might be little speckles. And those are just embossing folders that Stampin' Up! sell. So after I cut out the heart, I cranked it through into the embossing folder or with the embossing folder, and then um, got that cute little texture on it. Now, um, we've also got one of these cute little hearts. Again, these ones are retired from Stampin' Up!, but they are my part of my free with a $120 purchase this month. So you can get some of these hearts for free, along with the stuff that Stampin' Up!'s going to give you for free for celebration. 
Now when you come to close off this bag, there's a couple of different ways that you can do it. I've included one of Stampin' Up's cute little retired mini um, clips because this project is actually included in a pack that I'm doing for a PD day for St. Albert teachers. So uh, I wanted to make sure that they could put this together and not have any extra stamping supplies needed. So all I did for that is kind of put this half on and then tie the ribbon through there, tie it into a bow, and then that keeps it shut. Um, what I'd recommend doing though is folding it over just once and it doesn't have to be at a set amount just kind of figure it out and then crease it like that and then that's going to hold it together really nicely now another way that you can enclose this box is by using a hole punch like this and tying it together with a ribbon so i think that that looks really cute too and i'll show you how to do that so taking our trio punch i'm going to just stick it in and I'm just kind of aligning it with the edge there just so that it's something that I can align with two times. That's going to do the first one and then I'm going to do the second hole on the side here. And so now I've got two holes there and I can just feed my ribbon through here and tie it up. So now when I tie this up, I always like to do it so that one is a little bit longer than the other one. Because when I just do the rabbit ear, I'm going to have to start teaching my son how to tie a bow. So I'm going to figure that, have to figure out my verbiage. <laughs> Isn't that funny, hey? It's just something that comes naturally or unnaturally. Because bows are a little bit finicky sometimes. And I always don't feel like you're alone in this. I always have to massage it a little bit, you know, kind of go back and forth a little bit, get it to lay nicely here, and then put it down like this and snip the ends off. There we go. And then you've got this cute little finished project. Isn't that adorable? So let's talk about the supplies that I used on this card. So you're going to have an extra envelope. So just see that to the side. You can use that for whatever you want. Okay, starting off in our mini catalog. That's where a lot of these products come from. And we'll take a look on page 9 where we see this die being used as an envelope here. So you can see the cute little um, heart fits into it there. You can turn it into a little envelope even on your card. So it's pretty adorable. Or of course it can be the bottom of a box bag, bag box, whatever you want to call it. So the Sweet Conversation stamp set is the one that goes along with this die pack. It's got coordinating images that go with those three different sized dies, as well as the insides to color those in. So you can just quickly do that with the coordinating ink color or even just by stamping off. And if you guys are wondering about any of these techniques, just let me know. I'd be happy to clarify or even link up a video um, showcasing the technique that I'm talking about. This die pack comes with so many hearts and I want to point out these really fun heart kind of borders that you can create. So one of them has three horizontal, one of them has four vertical, and one of them has six horizontal. Of course these are going to cut out the inside hearts which you can remove and then you can be left with this border that's continuous and you can keep laying that across a, a project. You could use that on a scrapbook page, you could use it on a card, you can use it on something like this. How cute would that be? And then you also get all these extra little hearts, this little border here, and then of course the three bigger hearts which coordinate with our designer series paper and also our stamp set. So this is a great um, pack, of course, for Valentine's Day, which is coming up next month, but I love hearts for every day. I just think it's so perfect. So something like this I think would be really versatile and um, wonderful all year round. I like hearts at Christmas time too. 
The ribbon that we used is this beautiful new Real Red Faux Linen Ribbon, and doesn't it have a great feel to it? I like how soft it is, but yet it's firm, and it really keeps its um, shape when you put it together. And then our Sweet Talk Designer Series paper is so much fun. We have some great designs with it. Let me just grab it from back here. Really bold colors with the reds, but then there's also sheets like this one, which are just pastels. So there you go. These are cute little suckers. Suckers and all kinds of candies. I love that one with all the hearts. And then again, like little sweet tart kind of hearts. You know, those like, um, I love you, call me, text me. <laughs> And then the back sides here has a lot of like purple tones, but also has, you know, different rainbow tones as well. Love it. This is a 12 inch by 12 inch paper pack and it's included in my paper share. So if you want to get your hands on this, make sure you let me know and I can prepare a paper share for you. I have to order the supplies and then I can get it out to you. Now on page 55, these are nearly invisible, but the stripes and splatters embossing folders are the ones that are, um, I have something making noise. I wonder, I need to mute this. Here we go. Mute site. Can you guys still hear me? Can you let me know if you can't? Right away, please. Let me know if you can or cannot hear me. But these are the new um, embossing folders that we have. This comes in a two pack and they're very, very thin. They're called the stripes and splatters embossing folders. And this is what I did for our little hearts here that have the stripes on there. I'm assuming you guys can hear me. There's always a delay on comments. So if you guys can confirm for me, that would be awesome. Yay, hooray, thank you. Thanks, Belkis. And then from our annual catalog, We've got our adhesive page, which I wanted to showcase our tear and tape. Glue dots would also have worked for this. I didn't mention that, so sorry. And then the stamp and seal. And a reminder that the stamp and seal can be used in a couple of different ways. You can buy two full cases like what I've done, because I like to switch back and forth between them a lot. But maybe you want to just start off with one of these cases and then a refill of the other one. And then you can switch out depending on the different projects that you're using or, you know, as you care to use them. There you go. There's all the products for this one here. If you guys want the replay um, or if you want a review, please go back to the replay. And that little paper clip, if you're not using it, just put it to the side. You'll use it on something else cute. I'm sure you will. you know what I didn't show you actually I didn't have flagged in my catalog and I don't think I have on my supply list either but let's take a look at their punches page 147 and I can show you that trio punch that we have here it is detailed trio so this is how it comes and I'll showcase it on a piece of paper that I have here because you can do three different things with this one. It's really cool. This one here is kind of a corner piece, and that punches out this cute little petal pattern. And then there's also this corner rounder, and then that rounds the corners of anything that's perfect for photos as well. And then you have a punch here, which you can put anywhere you want. It doesn't go into a corner, it just is an edge punch. And that creates this little oval that I used to create the bow tie. So you can make them as far apart or as close together however you want. So three in one, this is a great punch to have. Oh, another thing that you can do with this one too is um, actually, I like to flip it over when I'm doing this. But you can use this oval to make like a ticket edge. Can you guys see that? So there's another way of using, it's not just a trio, it's a quadruple punch. Now I've got all these beautiful punched confetti pieces everywhere. Alrighty, let's go on to our next project, which, get ready for it, is pretty wowy. It is featuring the foil that's included in my 
offer for when you have a $120 order this month. So you'll get 12 sheets of this foil. So it's three colors, you get four sheets of each of them. They come 12 inches by 12 inches. If I'm mailing them, I have to cut them down to six inches by 12 inches so they will mail. But what I've done is take an embossing folder and put some texture on this. And this embossing folder is a very special product. It's our Bouquet of Love Hybrid Embossing Folder. It comes as a two pack. So when you purchase this, you get a pack of dies that includes all of these dies plus this heart die. Sorry, just a sec. This heart die, which has the stitching on it. And that cuts out this little heart here. But the way that I've actually created this is by using the embossing folder along with it. So when we talk about hybrid embossing folders, this embossing folder has a coordinating little insert here, which I can place my die into. I've put little glue dots on the back of my die, so now I could perfectly center it on the piece of paper that I was die cutting and embossing and I crank it through my machine and what comes out is this gorgeous masterpiece here. It embosses and it die cuts perfectly every time. I love it. And then of course, you know, if you wanted to use this on its own, again mine is sticky, but um, you would just put this onto a piece of paper and then you could cut out just that heart shape too and get the stitching on there as well. Isn't this cool? I love this and it comes in a bundle with one of the best stamp sets which has all these different sayings for love. So happy wedding day, valentines, anniversary, um, I think there's even, yeah, you're engaged on there too. So I really like this set which comes as a bundle. Bundle and save 10%, not just on two items but you get the stamp set, the dies and the embossing folder all at 10% off when you bundle and save. So okay, blah blah blah, should I show you? what the finished product looks like or project looks like this is it here isn't it pretty so I'm making a wedding card maybe you have some weddings coming up here I've got a lot of weddings that were delayed and now are um, you know coming up here <laughs> and I I don't know the, you know we just keep wanting COVID to be gone and it keeps coming back <laughs> And so I keep staying at home. But um, this is a great project because it showcases the inside designer series paper strip that I've got here. And we do that by creating a little pocket. So I thought that this was perfect for a wedding because I love including gift cards for a wedding. Most of the people who I know are getting married are pretty well established or living together and already have their houses set up so it's nice to give them you know um, a gift card some cash something like that for them to really treat themselves on something maybe even like a travel fund for um, you know when things clear up a little bit so this wedding wishes card is a template that you can use over and over again it's so so easy to do all you have to do is take um, your scoring tool on your I don't have a cutter right here I cleaned up and I don't have a cutter but all I did was score in one inch from the side and that's just because I've got a one inch piece of paper and one inch seems to hold a gift card in there quite nicely okay so let's create that part of our project first all we're going to do is fold our cardstock in half there's no fancy cutting or fancy folding that you have to do on this one really. It's just take an eight and a half by eleven piece of cardstock and cut it in half and then fold that in half and make sure you've got one inch strip there. Even if you didn't have a one inch strip, you could probably eyeball it enough that it could match up. We're going to use some tear and tape again or a very strong adhesive to create this pocket and all I do is just stick the adhesive on like this oops the top and the bottom and peel that off and press it together really nice and firm and that's going to create our little gift card pocket a little bit sticking over the side there. There we go. 
So I'm just kind of starting in the middle and working my way out so that I don't end up with too much tenting. You'll have a little bit of a of an opening there, and that's okay because you want to put, be able to put that card in there. So that's the base of our card. The next thing that I'm going to do is put on this beautiful strip of designer series paper. Now, strategically, I've left this a little bit long for you, about half an inch long, because I really want on a card like this, any time where I'm cutting um, paper that's going to span the entire length of the card, I always like to trim it off specifically for that card. Because as much as we all like to be perfect, I'm a major perfectionist, but to get it perfect like that every time is pretty difficult to do. So set your expectations um, down a little bit for yourself and know that nobody is perfect and th then just cut it a little bit long so you can trim it off and have it be perfect on that card. Isn't that gorgeous? Now let's put all the pieces together here on the front. I've got a little tag which I'm going to stamp a saying onto. And what should I do? Should I do Valentine's, Valentine greetings? Valentine greetings. That one is, I'm gonna do congratulations. And the reason why I'm not doing Valentine greetings is because I've got a camera in my way when I'm stamping here live. And that's right where my head needs to go when I'm eyeballing to make everything perfectly straight. I'm going to show you how to put together a stamp in a bit of a different way. This is the way that I normally put it together. I took off the paper backing for this little sticky sheet, and I got the paper backing off of this rubber here, and I'm just going to press that on like that. You want to make sure it's down on the table. If it's not down on the table, sometimes you can get some warping, and that's going to result in a stamp that's warping and maybe not stamping totally straight. When I'm taking off the cling stamps from my blocks, my clear blocks, I like to make sure that I get a fingernail underneath the edge of that sticker because it sure does cling on, doesn't it? You'd hate to start ripping apart your foam. And then when I'm storing my stamps, I just tuck them back in to their little piece like that. And then it ends up perfect. I like to put this piece under here like this. And then I know exactly which stamps are missing from the set. We sell stamps in two different kinds of stamps. You can see the photopolymer ones that I showed you for some of our paper pumpkin kits are completely clear. And those are handy for certain things, but you're always going to get a more clear stamped image for something that has a red rubber because it's got the foam built into it. So I like them very much for different reasons and I like both of them. I like our red rubber and I like our photopolymer. Congratulations. Oof. Good thing there are two sides of the paper. Guys, i got to pull it off because my head needs to go over top of this. I don't have three sides to the paper. So this is that pressure moment. Perfect! <laughs> I just had to be able to see. <laughs> I'm using Smoky Slate. That's the color that matches with this cardstock base. But um, you can use whatever neutral ink color that you have. Okay starting to put this together, don't lose your little vellum pieces. They're see-through. You hate to lose them. I'm going to use some stamp and seal to put on my heart border. And that's just going to stick on to our basic white cardstock layer. Then for our heart, I'm going to use some dimensionals, which I love to use in great quantities for as many things as possible. And I'm going to put the heart on with those and I'm going to put this congratulations. The person who receives this congratulations is not even going to know that I made a mistake on that side unless they watch the video. Don't tell them. Nobody is perfect. I like to incorporate my sayings onto layers like this because it allows me to not ruin a project when it's 99% finished and I'm just about to stamp that saying on there and then sure enough you know you mess it up or something like that oh I hate doing that so yeah just be easy on yourself and put it together with a layer um, something like this and then you, even if you stamp it crooked a couple of times you can stamp it correctly and then make sure that that is the one that ends up on your project right I'm going to put on my vellum pieces. Um, you could do this a couple of different ways. I already stuck the dimensionals on there, but 
You could also put stamp and seal on there first and then put these on. These are cute little punch pieces from my favorite new punch. It's going to be my go-to. I'm just going to put one kind of going out to the bottom left and one coming out the top right. And then if you need to, I'm still getting a lot of stickiness there, but if you need to, you can add a little bit more adhesive, maybe even like a third dimensional in the middle there so that you can adhere this to your card properly. So now the next thing that we're going to do is put together this piece along with some vellum. So the vellum is a doily that Stampin' Up! actually makes. You might have to pop out a couple pieces. If there's quite a few, these are cut by Stampin' Up! If there's quite a few that need to be popped out, you can use your dye brush attachment on our Take Your Pick tool. Or you can just, you know, flick them with your fingernails as well. That works pretty well. So let's eyeball this next step so that we know exactly how things are going to come together. So I liked having equal equal on either side here and equal equal on the top and the bottom. If you want to do something different, you definitely can. And then I just had a bit of this doily sticking out. So you'll see this doily is actually cut in half from how Stampin' Up! makes them. And... Um, I'm going to have it visible here on the side and on the bottom and this little bottom edge here just looks a little bit rough cut because that's exactly what it was I just rough cut it so what I'm going to do is just take it as scallop 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 and then trimming and rounding off the scallop there to make it look a little bit more finished now another thing to keep in mind is that when you open this card you're going to see a little bit of that white depending on how you align it so my recommendation for you is to kind of align it with your card here and then you can put your adhesive where it's going to be hidden oh and I put my adhesive in the wrong spot because I want it along the bottom for this doily that's funny so I'm just going to stick that on with some stamp and seal and it's alright because we've got enough of this doily that's going to be glued on there that we don't have to worry that it's flapping a little bit so now I can put this piece on with some Stampin' Dimensionals, and again, I want to keep them in from the one side, just so that I don't have to peel them off once I realize that it's going to be visible from the inside. So make sure you keep that in mind. And maybe you have to double check it a few times to make sure you've got them in the right spot, flipping it back and forth, but it's better than gluing your card shut, right? We've all done that before, I'm sure. Now we can press that on, and we've got that great little holder on the inside. We've got these beautiful vellum touches that add that, um, that really elegant look onto this metallic that is just a bit of a showstopper, isn't it? Now, this would look gorgeous like this, of course, but we're going to take it up a notch here by adding in some of our cute little... Um, resin hearts embellishments and again these are available for free from me with a minimum $120 order I wanted to show you here too because um, this is another card that I made with a different color of foil and these hearts I actually colored with my light basic black I started doing it with smoky slate and it wasn't going to be dark enough but all you do is you take the brush tip of your marker these are alcohol markers so you can't do this with every marker but you can do it with alcohol markers and you're just going to um, color it while it's still on its plastic backing then you can pop them up and put them onto your cards and you can see the difference there looks great right I'm going to leave these ones as white and use my take your pick tool stabby tool end there's different ends there's like a little paddle and there's the putty tip, there's even scoring tips which come with it, like those little scoring balls. You can see I got myself with a marker. <laughs> if you don't have ink on your hands, <laughs> maybe, you, yeah, have you even really been stamping? I don't know. So this part here twists off and then the brush tip comes onto it, so that's really great for poking out um, dies that have really detailed pieces and maybe need a little bit of extra convincing to make those pieces come out properly. 
All right, there we go. Finished card. So cute, right? So elegant. And I'd be so proud to give that to any wedding. And in fact, I probably will give it to one of the weddings that I have coming up here. All right, let's talk about the supplies that we used. Going to our mini catalog first. We've got from page 11. This is where you see that gorgeous love and happiness stamp set that I used with all those great different sayings in there, all with love themed. And then we've got the bundle here, which is bundle and save 10% which gives you the hybrid embossing folder. So that great embossing folder along with the die set, which cuts and embosses in one crank. And you can choose to do this centered like I have on a, a project, but can you imagine you could also do it so it's off center a little bit, right? You can have a card layout even similar to the first card that I made and have the heart shape like that, off-centered. Wouldn't that look pretty too? Woo! I love the design ideas that come when you're given such amazing tools to work with. Then on page 26, up at the top here, cut off, not doing this punch justice at all, is um, this tool here. It's called the bow punch, and it gives you two different shapes. So what I liked doing is when I was punching out these cute little bows, the smaller one of the two, I used our vellum cardstock and I ended up getting a whole bunch of punched pieces of the bigger bow too. So I just know these are going to come in handy. Maybe you'll see these resurface um, one of these months here <laughs> in the coming club months. But I like that, you know, you get you punch once and you get double the bows. And for one of our other projects this month too, we're using the green, um, this larger one in a green bow. And now look at all these. We've got all these cute small little bows in green too, in pear pizzazz. So if you just have a, a little envelope, even you could use your spare envelope that I gave you for the last project, and you can collect all those extra bonus pieces and have them ready to go for your crafting needs whenever you need them. From our annual catalog, I've got a few things on this page. So this foil paper, again, is not available for purchase right now, but we do have a couple of different kinds that are available for purchase. You can see on page 135, uh, we've got copper and gold foil that you could use that are very similar to this, just aren't pink and that peach color. So again, this is available for free with a $120 order for me in January 2022. Then we also have on this page these fun little doilies that I've cut in half. They come with 24 in a pack, and so I used one pack, cut them in half, and got enough supplies for 48 cards. So you could really make those go a far ways. Um, again, 24 of those, they're only $6.75, and that's so much easier than doing the die cutting yourself for a beautiful element like that. The next page here has our vellum cardstock, and that's what I use to cut these bows out of. This comes in an 8.5 by 11 format, and it's probably my most used cardstock because, um, well, that might be a lie. Okay, so basic white is my most used cardstock. But this is my next most used cardstock because it matches and coordinates with every single color out there. And I love that I can incorporate it into a project and it doesn't add another color. It just softens and enhances the colors of that current product project. On page 167, again, I wanted to showcase our tear and tape. Again, any of these adhesives are a great thing to stock up on during celebration to top you up to receive those celebration benefits because um, free is awesome. Right? And especially if you know you're going to need those adhesives eventually, right? Get them now. Our Simply Marvelous paper is this beautiful pattern that comes down the side here. And I've used a couple of different colors, so you might have a few different options that you're working with there. Again, that's free with a $60 purchase increment. All right, on to the next project. And we are going to be playing with some rainbows. I'm going to put these to the side. There we go. All right. So grab out your next little packet. You're going to see it. It's Rainbow City. 
rainbows and white as your cardstock backing. Okay, we are going to make a card here that makes my heart so so happy. It's featuring our new celebration paper. That's where these ones come from, and I've given you a couple different patterns to play from or play with. But it's going to look something like this here. So this is a really fun card layout because I don't know if you can see, but you're actually peeking through like a 3D element and seeing the rainbow beyond. And then we've got this awesome cloud border which is stitched and it really pops with this paper behind, especially because we've put this white piece on dimensionals. We've got some little cloud elements on there too and then top it all off we've got some epoxy elements on there and you could have a couple of different designs for this depending on what you've received from me. You might have clear or you might have silver to play with and then different designer series papers. So let's talk a little bit too as we gather our supplies and put them all together and um, talk about where the different things come from. So this is actually a combination of two die sets. One of them is new and one of them is in our annual catalog. This fabulous border with the stitching and the clouds comes from our basic borders dies. This comes with six different shapes. You can see one is like a triangle. You could make this as big as or as small as you want. And again, the scallop can be big as small as you want. All these pieces you can border your papers and this is the one that I've used. So all I did was take a piece of our basic white cardstock and imagine it's going here a little bit and I lined up that die here and I lined up this die from our new rainbows set and I cranked them through at the exact same time. So now I've got this beautiful cut out negative image that we're going to use with our designer series paper. Stampin' Up! is so clever with their matchy, matchy coordination. And they made this designer series paper from Celebration coordinate with this perfectly. Like it could not go any better. Oh, it's right at the bottom here, you guys. Let's see. Digging it up, digging it up. There we go. So this designer series paper comes with a whole bunch of different patterns like you can see here. But this pattern is the one that I've cut up so that we can use it. And each pack comes with 24 of these full rainbows and some more partial rainbows that you can use. Um, if you wanted to use a partial rainbow, right, just put it on the inside of your card, cut it out and have it just tucked like that, you know, down in the corner or off to the side. It's really usable still. So these are the ones that are going to coordinate and are going to be tucked right in behind there, put up on dimensionals. So let's do that first since we're talking about it. Let's flip this piece over to the back side. You'll see from the stitching which one is the back side and which is the front side. We're going to put this on with some dimensionals. Okay, one in the middle, one on the side, like top left and top right. And then I'm going to put some other dimensionals ready for this to be adhered onto my card base in the four corners. I don't, I go crazy with dimensionals on a lot of layers, but I don't go crazy with a lot of dimensionals on the layers. So first things first, I'm only going to adhere this little rainbow in behind our rainbow cutout. So I'm not going to take these ones off. I'm just going to take the ones off that um, I'm working with here at the rainbow. So I like to work from the front when I'm doing this. And I just line it up like this. There we go. This is also so clever because you can choose to use this die along with that paper and you can cut out and get the rings of those as cutouts. With just one die cut, you'll get the four different colors. So again, coordination is so amazing and Stampin' Up! really nails it. Okay, so now we've got this piece. We can talk about putting it onto the front of our card. Let's fold our cardstock in half, get that part ready to go. And then we're going to take our piece of design series paper, whichever side you want to use. I have to use the rainbow stripes. It's just, it's compelling me. 
And again, I've cut this longer because, oh, I'm putting it on the outside. I almost put it on the inside there. Don't put it on the inside. It will be hidden on this card. There we go. And then we just snip off the excess, just like last time. I want it to be perfect for you. I like to work from the back side because then I can see exactly what needs to be snipped off. And then, now we can put this piece onto the top there. So I've already got my adhesive popping up this little piece of Design and Series paper, just to make sure that that's also adhered to the base, but not adding more thickness to this part because it's already popped up once. I'm just going to put some stamp and seal on there. Then we can take our dimensional backers off, align our card, and pop that on. Isn't that cute? I really love the fun peekaboo. It really draws your attention, doesn't it? For this little cloud, I've got a perfect saying that fits right into it. This comes from the Rainbow of Happiness stamp set that coordinates with this Design and Series paper pack and also that die pack that I was showing you. And this one has a great little saying here that fits perfectly into the cloud. So using Bermuda Bay ink, I'm going to put that one on. The Bermuda Bay is kind of this turquoisey color in our designer series paper. Oh, that was a close one, you guys. Um, I am using photopolymer for the first time today. I think, yeah, hey, it is the first time. And I have a table that warps. I know it warps. And so I want to get a nice, clear, stamped image. I'm using the foam, the paper piercing mat or the foam mat. And this is a perfect background to provide the foam so I can use my photopolymer stamp and get a nice clear image even though there's no foam built into the stamp. I put the foam underneath and then you get that beautiful stamped image. Another great tool for when you're starting off is to get um, the simple chamois. Let me just grab that. My son was working and cleaning some of my stamps so it should be here. Oh, he's misplaced it. Let's see, I've got a half one here. So this is a simple chamois that I've cut in half. It looks nasty, but you know what? It still works really well. You just wet it with um, water, and then it takes the ink right off of your stamp. So you can store it in one of our clear stamp cases like this, and um, you can get these in packs of four. They're great for organizing your embellishments for everything. So that's a really great tool to have as well. If you don't have some of these kind of common tools, again, celebration is a perfect time to stock up on some of them. Get yourself the tools that are going to make your stamping experience easy every single time. And I've got a little die cut um, cloud. I'm going to put it on with a mini stamp and dimensional. Another great item to choose during celebration because Sometimes you just need a, d a smaller version of the dimensional. You can also get a pack of black dimensionals that come with the larger size and the smaller size. So this is a, our new punch. And this is a die cut shape. And now to finish this card off, it's so adorable, isn't it? And we're going to put it on some of these cute little raindrop embellishments. And I've got some silver ones that I'm putting on this card. I also have the clear ones on this card. Again, take your pick. It makes your life so much easier. Because sometimes fingers just seem so big, don't they? Clumsy. There we go. I like the take your pick, especially with these, because you can twist the top of them and make them bend to your will and <laughs> actually go straight up and down. <laughs> there you go. Such a cute card. Isn't it adorable? And so many fun different elements. Simple. You could put whatever saying that you wanted on there. I like a little something to brighten your day, but you could put on, you know, feel better soon or even happy birthday. Something like that would be great. This is a card that you could use for any different occasion, I think. Let's talk about the products and where to find them. So going to our mini catalog first, 
has a lot of products from this card here. There we go. On page 18, we've got our Rainbow of Happiness bundle. And again, we've got stamps here that nest to create this beautiful stamped rainbow image. And then you've got sayings too that you can stamp over top of those little rainbow rings. And I love that, the rainbow arches. So Rainbow Happiness is a great photopolymer stamp set. It's in photopolymer because they know you're going to be stamping this and trying to align the different colors. So that's why some of our stamps are in photopolymer, some of them are in our red rubber, and there are def definitely benefits to each of them. Rainbow of Happiness. Bundle and save 10% and you're going to love this bundle. You've got cute little borders of these scallops or rainbows, however you want to do them. And then scallop here, you've got the mini rainbow, you've got the bigger rainbow coming here. Um, a whole bunch of cloud shapes and then this little tag which will even fit a saying onto it. So I love that. I wanted to showcase as well a different way of putting this together. So we used the negative piece here. So meaning the uh, rainbow die cut out four arches. We took those pieces out, which were the positive pieces. We threw those away and we're using the outline piece here. Now you can also use the positive pieces too. So by using this die and with paper, you could even take it up a notch here. I've put uh, foam adhesive strips or sheets on here, foam adhesive sheets. This is like a dimensional, but in a big rectangle like this. And all you do is take regular cardstock or designer series paper, stick this onto the back of it, and it turns it into a puffy sticker. So now I've got all of these arches in different colors, and I can create four, by cutting this out four times, I can create four cards that look like this. And they adhere on here, they've got the puffy stickers, even though you're cutting them out with the die cut embossing machine, it still retains its puffiness. And I just love this card, it's so happy. And you can see I've used vellum on there too. You make me happy. Oh. You can see those um, adhesive sheets, the, the ones that turn them into puffy stickers on the adhesives page. If I have it flagged, I'll show you them there too. So make sure you're grabbing that Rainbow of Happiness bundle. Look at it. Strategically priced at $60.25. So guess what you can earn for free when you purchase that? Ah, the coordinating designer series paper, which we used on this project too. So all you have to do is order the bundle. You get the paper for free. And then you've got three coordinating products that go perfectly together. So we also used, oh, on here too. The cloud punch so this is the one that did that larger cloud shape here and aren't they clever let me show you something else here you guys this designer series paper has a sheet that coordinates with our cloud punch too so look at that you can punch it out perfectly love it isn't that awesome <laughs> If, um, if anyone is new to Stampin' Up! and watching this video for the first time, they're like, oh my gosh, they've thought of everything. And yes, they have. And so for somebody who is like me, who just loves that matchy-matchiness, it just makes so much sense. It's so logical. I love logical. Okay, from the annual catalog, we've got these adorable little silver and clear epoxy essentials it comes with 180 of them and I'll show you what they look like this is about three packs which are kind of hacked apart but I'll show you what I can this is these are the different shapes of them there's these teardrops there's diamonds and then there's circles and these are perfect for all different occasions obviously but I really love those little raindrops especially coordinating it with some of our other products that are kind of cloud themed and then you will also get the same in a sheet of clear and the clear you can color with your uh, Stampin' blends and turn them into whatever color that you want so if you wanted to have little blue raindrops you could do that too you can't do that with water-based markers because the water-based markers will just rub right off but um, we can definitely do it with our alcohol-based markers those work really well
On page 162 of our annual catalog, you'll find that basic borders die, and that was the one that came with all six of those. These don't have a stamp set that coordinate with it specific specifically, but I think that these actually match with so many different things. So again, you've got that kind of pointy shape, you've got a scallop border, you've got this nice arched border, and if you notice, these actually have details like stitching that get embossed into the paper on either side of the cutting edge. So the cutting edge is in the middle there, and then the stitching gets cut in, or impressed into the paper on either side of the cutting edge. So you get the detail no matter if you're using one side or the other side. You get twice the detail. Oh, and let's go to that adhesives page. Why not, right? Because I talked about it. And number 12, foam adhesive sheets. And you get six sheets. And they're a, a little bit bigger than our regular dimensionals. They're kind of square like that. And you get six sheets of those, so you can use them in many, many different ways. But I really love um, adhering small things that I'm die cutting, and they make it so much easier. I'm pop it up too. Okay, last project. Are you guys ready? I might blow your mind with this one. I hope I do. Ooh, I'm moving you here now. Okay, last project. It looks like this, and you're gonna think, oh no, she forgot to give me the cardstock base. But some of you might be thinking. Oh, I know where she's going with this. This is very fun. And it is. This is a card that folds flat and goes into a standard size envelope. You can see these envelopes here are standard size. Envelopes, also a good thing to get during celebration. So it fits into a standard size envelope and it mails with regular postage, but when your recipient receives this card they are going to be so wowed this is called a tower pinwheel card and when they open it up it's just going to keep going and going to the message that you write there at the end isn't that fun and then they can display it just like that it's going to stay up like that so fun and this is great because um these dimensions are really, oh, Shada, you make me happy too. Oh, <laughs> warm my heart. So this is like a magic dimension. This is, um, and I'll um, just explain to you here the different pieces that we have. It is kind of the perfect layout for not wasting both designer series paper and cardstock. This is a piece of eight and a half by 11 cardstock that would be like this, cut in half, and then cut into quarters this way. So out of a regular piece of cardstock, you are going to get two cards, um, the backing pieces to make this, okay? Now, then to go on top of these cards, um, these little panels here, we've got pieces of designer series paper that are two inches by four inches. So we've got a border around all sides for those ones. I did three pieces of designer series paper and then one of the very vanilla so that we had a spot for us to write on it. Then um, we also have little panel pieces here. These pieces are one and let's just see here. I'm going to make sure. They are one and a half inches by four inches. So again, you're not getting any wastage from your 12 inch by 12 inch paper when you're doing this. So, and you can even make this with a six inch by six inch paper pack too. You can do that too. So that's gonna go basically on the back side here, but we'll do those later. And then I just have a couple die cut pieces and punched pieces here and some ribbon. The thing that holds it all together is this little piece here, which is four inches high by uh, four and a half inches long and I've got it scored at one inches, one, two inches, three inches, and four inches, leaving a little half inch panel at the end. This is the piece that's going to hold it all together and I made this four inches which is a little bit smaller than these panels which are going to be adhered to it so that you have a border here on the inside and the outside that's all the same, top and bottom. This is also a perfect dimension too for getting six out of a sheet of designer series paper um, that's 12 inches by 12 inches instead of getting only, what would it be? Four. 
Okay, so let's put this piece together first because this is going to be the backbone. Now, I've strategically chosen this paper because we are using panels that are black. And so if we see a little bit of this designer series paper peeking through, it's black and it doesn't really, um, you know, catch our eye as much as say the yellow would. So I would highly recommend making it so that the yellow is visible for the inside and that the black is visible on the outside of the tube. Let's use our strong adhesive again. We're going to use something like our tear and tape or our stamp and seal plus even mini glue dots. We're just going to put a little bit down the side here. And I've kind of scored all of these here and I'm going to fold this back on itself. You can also fold it like this and um, make sure that you're aligning the top and the bottom so that it's square and you're going to create this tube. Okay. Now that we have that tube, we're going to put that to the side for a second and we're going to make our panels. So panel number one, you have to figure out which side of the designer series paper that you like. This is probably the hardest thing about this card is trying to decide which patterns go together and which side of the paper you want showing. I'm going to not think about it and make it the exact same as I made my other samples here, just so that we don't end at midnight. <laughs> right yeah so the one piece here of very vanilla that's where we're going to write our message that ends up being like the back side the final panel that they turn to when they receive your card you can see this is the front of the card and this is kind of like it's turned halfway through i'll leave it up like that so that you guys can see and visualize how this is coming together I was intimidated by this card until, you know, I just kind of worked my way through it and I thought, oh my gosh, it's so easy. Why did I not make this before, right? So I'm going to take my first panel here. I want this to be the front of my card. It's my favorite of the designer series paper. And so I'm going to start off with this, okay? So I'm laying my tube flat. It doesn't matter which way is up or down at this point. I guess you could look at the pattern inside and see if you can figure that out, but I'm not worried about that. I'm going to put a lot of adhesive on here. You could use your tear and tape. I'm using two strips of stamp and seal. I'm not using the plus. Then I'm going to align the edge with that crease, but I'm not aligning the top or the bottom perfectly. I'm making it so that, that it's like it's aligned with that designer series paper because the designer series paper you remember is four inches and this tube is going to be four inches while the cardstock the black cardstock is actually four and a quarter inches tall okay so then I'm going to flip this over and I might have a little bit of yellow showcase here I don't know I might have messed that one up but that's okay I'm sure nobody will notice it like how I notice it. So again, I'm just working panel by panel here and adhering my black designer series paper panels on. And then I'm going to flip this over. Oh, it's a little bit tight there. I think I have to pull it just a hair. This is what I'm talking about. It's so handy to be able to reposition the stamp and seal when I need to. There we go. Better now. Now I'm going to put my third piece of designer series paper on. This might be one that you come back to and that's okay. This is a replay that's going to be available forever for you. There we go. And then now we'll put that, what's happening here? There we go. And now we'll put on our final panel. Again, I'm putting my adhesive onto the tube part only, that designer series paper. You could make that tube part out of cardstock, but um, what I've heard is that it makes it a little bit bulky. And so you don't, it's not ideal to have that because when you put your card together, it ends up being quite thick then in the middle if you were to use actual cardstock. Meanwhile, that designer series paper just holds it together perfectly, but also um, gives you that little bit of flex. And so now you'll see there's these blank panels as we flip through here. 
and we can put our designer series paper on that too. So now, decisions, decisions. Which ones go where? I don't know. I might leave this white, whitish one here. Hmm. Or the daffodils go with the daffodil, maybe. Oh, but I don't know. Ooh, this is kind of fun. It kind of coordinates there. I'm gonna do it there. Decisions, decisions. Are you guys facing the same dilemma? That one eighth inch border is going to be typical on every single panel and on the inside. So one eighth inch border. That's how you know you're doing it right. Well, this one kind of works out well that it's visible on both sides there. Who are you going to give this card to? When we were stamping last night, Shada was joining us and she was so excited to give this to her mom. Such a wow card, isn't it? You almost want to give it to someone really special. It's her mom's birthday, so she is excited to give it to her mom. I'd love to know who you're planning on giving it to. And then the final one here, these cute little daffodils. So if you take a look at your project supplies, for those of you who are crafting along with me, you've got a sheet of every single pattern in this designer series paper pack. So you can see the versatility, how well they work together, but how beautiful would they be on them on their own as well, right? Oh no, you guys, I did something silly. Oh, I hope I caught you in time. Okay, this is when you're really excited about using Stamp and Seal Plus, or you grab a heat tool and you heat it up a little bit to soften the adhesive. I forgot to do something here. I forgot to put on this ribbon. So you can use your heat tool. If you don't have a heat tool, you can use your mouth heat tool. <laughs> Maybe just quarantine your project after that for a little bit. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, so I wanted to put on this little wrap piece here, and it can only go in one spot on this card without adding a huge amount of bulk. You can see it gets quite a gets to be quite a few layers here in the middle, and then down here at the ends, you don't really have very many layers, right? You've got basically sheet of cardstock and then designer series paper or cardstock on both sides there. So what we're going to do is tie our ribbon just in a knot. This is a very simple, simple way of putting on ribbon because you don't have to worry about tying a bow. It just looks so clean, so elegant. And again, it's great for new stampers, I think, especially to feel like they are not fussing and fuddling with a bow. You may want to, you know, take a look at both sides and see which one do you like best, kind of um, flatten it out a little bit and see, oh, I like this side, I like the other side, whatever. Now, Stamp and Seal Plus doesn't work to put onto ribbon like this, but you can definitely do Stamp and Seal with ribbon like this. So again, just different benefits and drawbacks to each of them. Okay, I'm going to, it's harder because I've got the adhesive already on the back. I'm sorry, are you guys doing that too now? I have you all fussing with it at home. There we go, wrapping that around. I just want to make sure it's equal. There we go. So it kind of looks like it's straight. There we go. And a little bit more adhesive on the back just to hold that all down. Now I can reapply that to my card. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. I hope I caught you in time. Ooh, gold foil paper with foam adhesive sheets and die cut the number 65 for your mom. Oh, hooray, Shada. Won't that look just gorgeous? If you can, will you post a picture? I'd love to see it. Hey, let's put these flower pieces aside and let's deal with these little tags. So now we've got the base of our card. If you are overwhelmed with that, watch the replay, okay? And then you'll be laughing, 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 knowing that um, I messed up the order and you don't have to make that same mistake. <laughs> For the stamp set that I'm using, I'm using that um, $120 celebration item, Special Moments, which comes with all of those gorgeous stamps in there. And I've selected three different sayings that are going to work perfectly. 
for the three different tags. So one is just a card to say you're amazing for someone who is so sorry is for someone who is wonderful in each and every way and I couldn't wait for a special occasion and then I write my message there so this card I think is going to be perfect for someone special and again I'm using photopolymer so I'm going to bring that mat back in here line up my tags these tags are all from the same dye pack called tasteful label dyes and they are so amazing if you take a closer look at your tags you'll see that there's like a little line that's etched into all of them and it's the same sort of thing it's cut, is on both sides of the cutting edge so stitching on both sides of the cutting edge or a little line that gets embossed for all of these shapes I just love them so cute right these are available in our annual catalog and they are my go-to tag pack because they come in all different sizes and you can always find the perfect one for your project. So I'm just using my Memento ink, which is um, in our tuxedo black color. We have two different black inks. One is Memento and one is Stays On. I use Memento for my day-to-day -day crafting. This one is a water-based ink and it comes off my stamps beautifully. And um, the Stays On actually needs its own separate uh, remover. It's a solvent that you would use to um, to remove the ink on that one. So I really like the Memento Plus. I do a lot of coloring with my Stampin' Blends alcohol markers. And when you're using alcohol markers, you want to be using them with an outline that's stamped in a water-based ink. Those two inks are different formulations and so when you're doing the blending with the beautiful markers it's not going to be moving that outline image that you stamped. Now I've stalled here but this is what I would be doing anyways because our cardstock is pressed beautifully smooth and you'll feel that even in our colored cardstocks but if you get a second here just grab your piece of vanilla and rub your finger across that very vanilla and rub your finger across this um, colored cardstock. This is the mint macaron color, by the way. The, it's so interesting for me to know about these different things. I hope you find this interest too. interesting too, but whatever, I'm talking to you. <laughs> I guess you can fast forward if you want to, if you're watching the replay. But I love this because our cardstocks are the exact same weight. So our very vanilla and our basic white are the same weight sheet per sheet as our colored cardstocks, but our very vanilla and basic white are pressed so hard and that's what gives this beautiful surface. It's perfect for stamping on and if you've ever bought white or vanilla cardstock from any other company, you'll feel the difference and you will notice a difference in your stamped images. So I highly recommend purchasing our very vanilla and basic white. You're going to notice such a difference in your stamped images. So what I do whenever I'm stamping onto cardstock that is a little bit um, more textured, it's not a textured cardstock, but there's definitely a roughness in comparison to our Whisper White. I want to make sure that the ink goes into all of the little tiny divots. So I'm going to ink this up really well with a twist tap tap, and then I go onto my cardstock and I'll just hold it for an extra long time. And I'm not rocking, but I might do like a subtle little tiny wiggle like it's almost imperceivable this wiggle and I hold it for a little bit longer and then that gives that beautiful stamped image let me see if I can show you how it would be if I stamped it fast so it's twist tap tap and if I just stamped it like haphazard there we go you can see the difference it just doesn't have that beautiful deep even color application You'll notice it in person um, probably more than the camera because the camera even has a filter on it that's going to smooth away some of that, right? And then this final one here, I couldn't wait for a special occasion. So you'll notice I stamped the saying of the first one actually off center and that was so that I could fit that pretty little flower on there. The other ones here are just getting stamped centered. There we go. That was a little bit heavy handed. Let's try that again. It's always nice to have a second shot and have the option for two of them, right? You have one or the other, whichever you prefer. 
couldn't wait for a special occasion. There we go. I'm happy with the back side of that one. There we go. Take these three little pieces, and now let's start putting them together onto our card. I'm not using dimensionals on this, just because this card can get a little bit bulky with all the different layers. So what I'm going to do is just with some stamp and seal, put this on. But again, I'm keeping in mind that this is going to be visible from the back side, and I don't want to glue my card shut. So I lay it out like this, flip it over, and then just put adhesive where it's going to be sticking onto the cardstock base. Just like that. Then the next panel here, I'm going to do wonderful in every way. This designer series paper is so beautiful and has so many coordinating colors in it. It's really fun to, um, to play off of, right? It's a color combination that I actually would probably never put together, but when I see it, I go, oh, that works, right? So that panel there is where I write. Now let's go back to here and we can look at um, putting our little other elements on here. So you'll notice here a couple of things. Um, this pretty flower is embossed and cut out and it has color variation. The reason it has color variation is that I actually used our Simply Marvelous Designer Series paper from Celebration. So I took this paper and I, ooh, I almost had an avalanche there. I cut the piece out from there just to give it a little bit of extra dimension for you. So you might have one that looks like, oh, which one here? This one's got a lot of variance in tone, doesn't it? But um, I really like the look of it. And then this one's really soft and pretty. So you can get a lot of different colors out of the same designer series paper. So to put that one on, I'm going to put on a dimension, it on with a dimensional. And I'm going to make sure that the dimensional is hidden. So I never really do this except for in this instance. But I'm going to put the dimensional on the back side of the paper. And then I'm going to figure out where I want the flower and stick it on that way. With these great little punched sprigs these little bows. I'm going to put them on with glue dots. Oh, they're right on the other side here. There we go. So these glue dots are fantastic. They come in a little roll, and when you get the new ones, you're actually going to notice probably that they are on the back side here of the paper. You're not going crazy. They did change the format a little while ago. But I like to stick my elements on to the glue dot, then use my take your pick tool to pick it up. And then I can just pull back my flower and put it on exactly where I want it, making sure that it aligns here at the front and making sure that there's no adhesive sticking out at the back. Same with this one here. The Take Your Pick tool just makes your life so much easier. And with its different attachments, it's really versatile. Oh, so pretty. If you wanted to, you could definitely add another glue dot underneath there, maybe under this sprig here. But you could also just leave it so it's um, got that beautiful 3D element. That looks great too, doesn't it? Oh, I put that one on a little bit crooked. Let's just bend it. There we go. Ta-da! That card would be beautiful like that, but if you have your Wink of Stella, let's grab that and take this up a notch even more. I'm going to use the paintbrush tip. Come on, there we go. So using the paintbrush tip, now I'm going to go into the center of that flower and I'm going to paint these pieces out here. This one's getting a little bit empty. You don't normally have to push to push here where it says push. You just do that at the very beginning to get it flowing. And then beyond that, you don't have to until maybe you get to the end. And then you might want to do a little push if, you, if it needs it. You could paint the whole flower if you needed to, if you wanted to, it doesn't matter. You can add as much or as little as you want. I added to a, a nice subtle touch on the one that I made last night. I don't know if you can see the difference between the two of these. But this one I just did a little kind of paint down the middle of these leaves. And it just elevates it a little bit too. So you can do that as well. 
doesn't have to be perfect. This Wink of Stella just gives that touch of elegance. Platinum Shimmer Paint Brush. Now that you're finishing up your card, I can talk to you a little bit more about our other hybrid embossing folder that I used here. That's how I got this cut out and embossed flower shape. So the stamp and cut and emboss hybrid embossing folder is the same sort of thing as that heart. It's a two pack um, and then it has a stamp set that coordinates as well. So when you purchase the hybrid embossing folder, it will come as a pack of dies and an embossing folder that goes along with it. So with the dies, there's these great little leaves that of course can coordinate with some of these um, pieces as well. But then there's a detailed die here. There's some tags and like um, layering pieces. And then there's this piece here, which actually nests into your embossing folder. And the same sort of thing, you can do two at the same time. So all I did was take that piece of the yellow marbleless paper, cut a square of it, pop it in here, close it up, crank it through my big boss, and um, then when you take it out, you get three of these cut out and embossed beautiful flower images. Now, I just had the idea last night, can you imagine if you took a green piece of paper that was maybe the size of a card front, and you put it in there, ran it through, and then opened it up and you had all these beautiful leaves and the flowers embossed. Then if you took a pink piece of paper or even the yellow or something like that, cut it in there, or sorry, cut a smaller piece, placed it in there with the dies, and used the dies to cut and emboss the flowers out, you could put those three cut out flowers over top of your green paper that had all of these beautiful leaves Put onto them and have that burst of color with the background and the matching leaves that go along with it. So pretty, right? I'll show you where to find that in just a second here. I love these things that make my life so much easier because that would normally be, you know, two cranks for every person, right? A crank to cut and then trying to piece the little pieces back together and, and then putting them into um, the embossing folder that to then get that texture on there too, right? So much easier to do it this way. So um, going from our mini catalog, let's take a look at page 26, and that's where that bow punch is. Again, just a reminder that that's the larger of the sprigs, and then there's a the smaller of the sprigs, which we used on that wedding card that I created tonight for you. And from our annual catalog, lots of goodies in here. So remember these, if you know things start to sell out in the mini catalog with our global shipping crisis that we're having, always remember our annual catalog because there's so many goodies in here. And just a reminder about our Wink of Stella. This is another one that you'll want to make sure that you have a, an extra one on hand because if it gets low, you need that Wink of Stella, right? So during celebration, it's a good time to get a second one of those products that you know you're going to be using. On this page here is not anything because I flipped to the wrong project tab. There we go, this is the one. The pale papaya and white ribbon is so classy. It makes me think of springtime with like a woven spring basket or baby cards or you know something like this where you actually wouldn't think that it would match but of course that design series paper just has that pale papaya in there so it coordinates perfectly. I really like the weave on that, it's so textured. Then we've got on page 157, this is that bloom bundle. Um, and let's take a look actually at page 116 at the stamp set that coordinates along with it. So you can see this one here um, has the stamp that coordinates with those dies that are textured as well. So you could stamp, put that into your embossing folder because your embossing folder is clear you can see through and align it perfectly and then you could have it stamped and then textured and cut at the same time and for this part here you've got a stamp that is the fill-in of all of these so you can get the outline and the color and the <laughs> embossed and the cutting like it's crazy that's a lot right <laughs> okay let's go back here 
So the Bloom Bundle is $72. That's a really great purchase because, again, you're getting um, a discount on three different items. You're getting a discount on the stamp set, the embossing folder, and the dies, whereas normally in a bundle you would just get the discount on the stamps and the dies or the stamps and the punch. The Tasteful Labels dies are the ones that I love, love, love to use all the time. Those are the ones with the stitching on the inside and out or the embossed detail on the inside and out of cutting edge. So that's a really great one. And then, of course, last but not least, from our celebration, we used three different celebration. Well, I used three. You probably used two. We used the Daffodil Afternoon Designer Series paper to create this beautiful pinwheel card. We used it as the bones as well as the accent that's visible on all the different panels. We used the Simply Marvelous paper as um, a background to add a little bit more detail to this flower image that was cut and embossed. And then I used the stamp set, which I think is a must have for every stamper, especially if you've been stamping for a while. It's nice to have more options for sayings, right? And um, this one here is available for free with a minimum $120 purchase. Oh, I'm seeing some comments pop up here. Thank you so much. Bilka says, love the beautiful projects tonight, Kelly. Thank you so much for an amazing evening and for all you do. Oh, Bilkis, my heart. I just love having you as a part of these events. Thank you so much for joining, my friend. So let's take a little review of all of the projects that we made here tonight. I think five of them, hey? And uh, I want to know, which one did you like best? Will you type? Fast fingers, fast fingers. Will you le let me know which ones you like best? Did you like the simple and elegant marvelous one? Did you like the little bag box for giving a, a treat this Valentine's Day? Did you like the elegant wedding card with the gift card holder? Did you like the happy rainbow card, the clouds and little raindrops? Or were you intrigued and inspired by our tower pinwheel card? All of them, says Bilkis. <laughs> you have to choose, Bilkis. I want to know. <laughs> I honestly, I love to know what you guys like. And if you haven't already taken a peek at my Facebook page, I have all of the projects up from the past year of Online Card Club. So you could take a look there and see all of the fun that we've had and maybe get an idea and think like, yeah, you know, I really do want to join club. Even if you can't make it to the event on um, the third Monday and Tuesday of every month, then you can have them on replay. They just sit there waiting for you to have a snow day or a rainy day. And then you can just click onto that YouTube video or on the replay on Facebook. And it's just so much fun to know that that project is waiting for you. So honestly, if you have a wish list of over $200, you really should do one of two things. First thing would be to consider joining me as a demonstrator and getting the starter pack. Or you could, of course, um, split up that purchase over six months. Just $200 over six months equals $35 a month, and that means you'll get a $20 shopping spree as well as your club cards for free every single month. So let me know if you're interested in joining. I'd love to have you either as a demonstrator on my Kells Angels team or as a member of my monthly online club and give you some perks when you sign up in January. If it's not January when you're watching this video, please reach out because you can join my club at any time and do the drop-in option until the next round of club starts. My clubs start in January and July and so those are when the joining specials are available for six months at a time. And beyond that, you can join every single month and even contact me about previous kits that might be available. We've got lots of options for you to get stamping. Okay, so I'm just looking here, all of them. Bilkis is saying treat box and the tower card, if I really have to pick. Okay, yes, I like that. I like that you like the treat box. That was my bonus, bonus project. I had to give that to you. And, you know, when I looked at everything, I thought, oh, I just have to have them playing with that beautiful designer series paper. And what a wonderful way to do it is to, you know, give a little treat box, right? 
And Shada says all of them. She has to choose the tower card for the fun and exciting features and the rainbow card because, well, rainbows and colors makes my heart happy. Makes my heart happy too. Makes me so happy to be crafting along with you guys. So thanks for sharing this evening with me. Whether you're watching live, whether you're watching on the replay, I'm just so glad to have you stamping or watching along with me. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope to stamp with you very, very soon. Take care.